Hey guys, 3D Printed Life here, and today with a quick 3-up update, which is going to be followed by a rather long 3-up update in the next 2, 3, maybe 4 days, I don't know. Anyway, um, changes since the last update, I don't think there were too many, but there are many that are in the works, so let's get right down on it here. So, uh, the main change that is visible, at least, is this nice cable chain here. Awesome stuff, makes it so much prettier. Um, thank you, Brian. I do have to still reroute these cables around the back because they're right in front and it's ugly. Um, I hope I left the wires long enough for that. I guess I'll figure it out. Um, you probably should have thought of that earlier. Oh well. Um, so uh, of course this had to mount somewhere so the, the X slider is completely new and also the end stop is moved. I've had no problems with that yet. Let's get in there. So it's moved there. So now if you're looking from the front of the machine, you don't see any end stops. You just don't. And it's awesome. I love it. Um, all the end stops are hidden. The Y end stop is hidden down here. The Z end stop is hitting, hidden behind that block. And now the X is hidden behind the X slider. So this is going to... It's transforming into a very, very um, aesthetically pleasing printer, which is great, which was one of my main goals when I started this printer. I didn't want to design... A printer that looked like it was hacked together I wanted to make one that looked like it was a nice complete product and I believe I'm starting to get there um, so what else is new um, well nothing really I'm printing a new Y slider in gray filament because I wanted to make it look uglier by having multiple colors on here uh, no actually <laughs> the normal filament that I buy in black sold out they only had a few colors left and I didn't feel like waiting so I just got some of the gray um, I mean, it's not ugly, it's just not... I like the black better, let's just leave it at that. Anyway, here is one of the Y sliders that I'm going to be putting on. Nice quality print. Still got a bit of Z banding in there. Mm, if I can... Come on, show the bad stuff. I'm trying to show off the banding. You can see it in person, I promise. I mean, no, it's perfect, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, so there's a tiny bit of banding, but I mean... All in all, I'm still really impressed with the quality of the prints. They're just getting better and better. Um, so anyway, this is the far piece. Going to get plopped in there. Uh, this was printed at 40% honeycomb infill at 025 millimeter layer height. Um, same with that guy that's printing right now. These old ones were printed at 025 millimeter layer height, but like 25%... Um, square and fill so they weren't nearly as strong um, additionally mine now have this thicker bottom piece uh, the original ones on here were paper thin if you can see that yeah you can so um, of course that was something that once I printed it for me I had updated the design before anybody else got that to make sure that nobody would um, suffer the same cracking of it that I did because this top piece actually cracked and I had to melt it together with a lighter and sort of mush it together so that I could still print with it. It prints just fine, but I mean, I want to, of course, update it so I don't have any future problems. So that's going to be going on. I'll do a video when that's on. Um, and then I'm also working on some wire management. I'm working on a, a shield that is basically just going to cover this entire, this entire um, bar with the wires on it. So it's going to be like these little clips, but they're going to come out a little further so they can accommodate these thicker bundles of wire, and it's going to go the entire length down here. So it's just going to be like a black plastic bar there, and all the wires are going to be hidden inside, so that should look nice. And then additionally, I'm planning, I saw um, Brian, who's been doing quite a bit of work with the Brenda, he made this cable chain, of course. Um, he actually had his wires coming back behind his printer board. Sorry for that bad shot. Um, he had his wires all coming back here, so I figured, um, why not do something to kind of, um, keep them there and to make it so that they, they don't slide around and that they are, um, hidden so they look a bit nicer. So I figured I could, uh, get a piece that would just mount to this, uh, rail in here and it would just be like a plastic panel that would sit on top and then have a, a lip on the other edge to hold everything in and it would basically just mirror this the printer board plate but on the other side um, so it would 
basically be a housing for all the, the wires and all the bundled wires that were too long and stuff like that. So that should also help with appearance and um, the overall um, I guess organization of the printer, uh, making it look much, much neater and much more um, organized, I guess. Uh, <laughs> But that's pretty much it. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm planning on changing these Z sliders out. So once I get a new design, which would be the 1.4.1 design, I'll be printing those out and putting them on. That probably won't be for another two updates or so, though. Um, so keep a lookout for that. And that's pretty much it. I will be um, making another video once most of these changes are made and put on. So uh, keep a lookout for that in about uh, three, four days. And until then... I don't know. Keep printing. Have fun. See y'all later.